When it comes to aerial photography, the wide-angle lens is possibly one of the most attractive types of lenses that a photographer can use to capture God's eye view. So, how to capture these moments? DJI Mavic 3 Pro's triple camera system ushers in a new era of camera drones by housing three sensors and lenses with different focal lengths. Equipped with a 24mm Hasselblad camera and dual telecameras with 70mm and 166mm format equivalent, DJI Mavic 3 Pro unlocks new shooting perspectives, allowing you to embrace creative freedom further, capture fascinating scenery, explore photographic storytelling, and make cinematic masterpieces. Let's dive into how to choose the right focal length for a shot. Basic Principles The shorter the focal length, the more of the scene you'll be able to see in the frame, and the foreground and background appear further apart. The longer the focal length, and the narrower the field of view. The long focal lengths compress distances and bring distant subjects closer. Applicable Scenarios This is an image taken with the Hasselblad wide-angle camera, allowing the whole scene to be included in the photograph, and giving viewers the feeling that mountains look further apart and more distant, further enhancing the sense of vastness. Zoom reaches up to 3x in normal video mode, or explore mode, when using the Hasselblad camera allowing you to capture grand landscapes and wide open scene. The two images are taken by wide angle and medium tele lenses, and we can see that objects appear larger and closer in the camera view on the right. Narrow angle of view of the medium tele lens makes it easy to keep unwanted background elements out of the frame. The medium tele camera suits various themes and scenes. To easily incorporate distinct composition styles and avoid image distortion in busy and crowded environments, Try tapping the 3x icon on the right side in normal video mode or explore mode. It compresses the depth of field, focuses to highlight the subject, and maintains many details in the background. The telecamera with 166mm format equivalent can be used to show faraway objects with accurate perspective, making distances seem shorter in the image. By using the 7x to 28x tele lens in the normal video mode or explore mode, you can effortlessly observe animals without disturbing them, or scout snow-capped mountains and buildings safely. Color Mode Note that the telelens can be used in the normal color mode, while the medium telelens can be used in HLG and D-Log M color mode with a high dynamic range and facilitate more efficient color grading. Let's find out how to master composition with the medium telelens for aerial photography. The foreground, middle ground, and background divide the scene into different planes and create a sense of depth by using the different layers of an image. When there is only one subject on one side of the image, use the medium telelens to place the secondary object in the background on the other side to get the balance between all the parts of your image. When there are parallel lines or lines with a sense of extension in the scene, position the line to look like a diagonal one and use the medium tele lens to compress the beginning and end of the line to create tension and stress the sense of depth. As the medium tele lens has a narrow angle of view, choose to surround the main subject to achieve different visual movement speeds between foreground and background elements. Even if foreground moves slower, the background changes faster. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your flight.